Hi, my name is John. Today is day six. We spent the night in Elk City. Natalie and Lawrence drank too much last night, so I'm in charge now. They encouraged me to go to a Mexican restaurant last night, which is not my first choice of food, but they had a great time knocking back margaritas like they were water, while I politely enjoyed my salad. Let's roll the intro while I wait for them to get up. day six. Uh, we're in Elk City right now. We stayed at a lovely Holiday Inn uh, and there is a fantastic Mexican restaurant over there that uh, do amazing margaritas. We didn't have too much obviously because we're riding and that would be <coughs> irresponsible. Uh, so anyway, we are just packing up now. I'm just having a little rest over here by the curb. <sighs> Natalie's doing a great job. So we are headed to Tutankari today. Uh, we have about another eight and a half hour ride uh, and we are staying somewhere amazing that you can rarely get bookings for unless you phone up early, which we did because we've been planning this for 10 years. So I'm really excited to do that. Now we have a few stops on the way. So this video may be a bit longer than normal. We will see. So anyway, we're going to hit the road. I should get up and help. Otherwise I'll be in trouble. So we're gonna go load up the bikes, we're gonna hit the road, and you should see some of the stuff we've got coming up today. only a few miles down the road but I had to stop because I had a really bad itch at the back of my head and obviously when you've got a crash helmet on you can't itch that so I had to stop to do that but we came across this it's a uh, it's not actually on the route 66 thing it's just we were just on the highway over here and we just pulled off so that I could scratch my head uh, and so uh, yeah I thought it was quite fascinating we're trying to figure out how long it's been since it burnt down the trees are still scorched by it um, but it's pretty scary. We're also trying to figure out what it actually is. Okay, more information. Natalie found it. Okay, this was a church. Uh, it's been here for a long time and it was actually in July 2021 that this burnt down, so last year. Less than a year ago, which is surprising. Uh, so anyway, so it was, uh, no one died in the fire, it was all okay. It was around about midnight the fire went off, but they did find that transients was the word they used, which is like gypsies, travelers, you know, someone had been living in it, uh, which is strange. I'm guessing it wasn't a used church at the time. So people were actually living in it. I'm guessing that's how the fire started. Um, the other problem was that they had that the roof was so well built that they couldn't, they normally, they would drill a hole in the roof once there is a fire inside, they drill a hole in the roof to let all the gases and everything out so that the firefighters can go in and, and, and you know, uh, deal with the actual core of the blaze um, but they couldn't, so they couldn't get through the roof quick enough, so they had to fight it from the outside, which basically meant it burnt down because they couldn't get inside to, to really get to the core of the fire. They just had to throw the jets through the windows and things, so... Anyway, that's a shame. I, I like things like this. I find it fascinating. Uh, I didn't quite realise it. It was uh, such a recent thing, though. All right, just down the road from where an old burnt-out church is, we've actually found a section so some of it even though they say this bit over here is obviously where we're riding that's what they say is historic route 66 well actually this is route 66 and as you can tell it is closed so we don't really want to go riding down there because the chances are you can actually see actually give me a sec this is kind of what it looks like you have the old route 66 right here and they block it off with this soil you can see a four-wheeler has gone over here a quad or something like that uh, and so it goes all the way down through these trees this is literally just being left to rot and then it goes all the way down there but they're both closed i would love we were considering riding down this part uh but if there is soil at the end like a big chunk like that then we're gonna have to just do a 
38 point turn just to get back so I don't think we're going to do that but it's very cool to be stood on the proper original road it's funny when I'm filming this because we've got intercoms and so I can hear the, everything they're saying so I'm trying to talk to you and all I can hear is them talking about stuff <laughs> We are here in Eric, which is another ghost town. There is nothing here except one place that you have to go to. We've been told we have to go here. It's called the Curiosity Shop. And apparently we're in Eric, Oklahoma, the redneck capital of the world. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. I can't say in my accent. Anyway, we're gonna go in. Apparently the owner is amazing. So we're gonna go in, take a look around. Hello. How we doing, guys? Good. We've been told we have to pop in and see you. Yeah. Well, that's a fallacy. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> you know, uh, I wouldn't let anybody that you just happen to run into, uh, you know, uh, tell you what you have to do and what you should do. That's there's plenty of that already going on in this country. That's true. Do you mind if yeah. we film in here? I don't care what you do, baby. Thank you. You can take all the photos you want. Thank you Welcome so much. Welcome to America, guys. <laughs> this is awesome. Where do you get this stuff from? Well, uh, just various places. You get it where you find it. How long did it take you to collect all of this? Uh, uh, now, that's a question you could ask the government. But uh, I've been doing uh, what I do for a long time since I was about 12, and I've never worked for anybody in my life. Really? Yeah. But you don't sell anything, do you? Uh, you say what? Do you sell? This isn't oh, a shop, right? This is, uh, this is my set for my mediocre music program, okay. Slash Insanity at its finest. <laughs> don't get it around my instruments. Oh. And let the other two people hold it, play with it, and pet it. And then I'll show you how the most talented of all the Route 66 photographers takes a snapshot. <laughs> of course, that's me. They're all jealous of me. I've been friends all <laughs> the two of them. I'll tell you. Oh, my God. Is she ever hot? <laughs> this is all going on. I tell you for sure. Well, let's see what we got. I, I saw the maker's mark there. Yeah, looks like they got the... Oh, you got Crown Royal, nice. Oh yeah. I feel like we should have brought you a bottle of something. Well, I think that's why they have the tip shots. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then here's some of Annabelle's postcards that she drew. Oh wow. Then uh, Pixar's artwork is on the t-shirt. They've been here a couple of times. That's me and my wife, Annabelle, and our redneck tuxedos with the animators. The Disney Imagineers have been here a couple of times. There we are with them. And then CBS News from New York was here in 2001. And then over there is the poster that Annabelle made for the Imagineer straight in front of you there. And then up here is our invitation from Pixar to the world premiere of the movie Cars. And the group photos I was showing you were coming long before the movie Cars came out, so Disney Pixar does not get dick shit for nothing. Drink. It's been an odd, it's been, it's been a, 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 an honor and a thrill and a pleasure to see you. Thank you. I tell you for sure. 
and uh, you needed a drink. Yeah, you need more than that. <laughs> I do, but up with these two, that's for sure. <laughs> Y'all have a good time going down Route yeah. 66. Will do. Thank you so much for your support. You're welcome. And uh, tell everybody I said down the road, uh, go to hell. <laughs> Thanks, sir. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you will know that when we did our RV trip back in 2021, we went to Texas. Um, great at first and then a few things went wrong texas you did not treat us well we have ptsd from that we had the truck broken into we think we got covid looking back at it now but we're not sure we were pretty sick uh, and then covid hit and everything went wrong so we spent a long time in texas not doing anything because covid hit so yeah we went there had our truck broken into got sick and then left so let's hope that this time it's different because we're at the Texas State Line and we're going to put a sticker on the Texas State Line sign. So this is on Historic Route 66, Texas State Line. You have to take a picture of this if you come this way and tag us in it, please, on Instagram, Facebook, all the social uh, media platforms. And we need a photo of you with our <laughs> sticker here. So we're going to put it somewhere where it can't be removed or overwritten. We're going to try our best. John, if you could play cameraman, we would appreciate that. We're going to do some no acrobatics. This is going to be fun. Ready? <laughs> Did it. <laughs> let go. No, I don't let go. You, oh no, my I'm god. Talking to John. <coughs> okay, we did it. We have our sticker on the Texas State Line on old historic Route 66. Okay, get off me, Natalie. Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, Montana had come off the highway here. We're on Route 66 and Montana came off the highway here. I'm going to say it was fatal because they've been clearing it up for like five or six hours. Um, yeah, sorry about the noise, we're right next to that highway. Uh, so anyway, he said it's gonna be like 15 or 20 minutes for them to finish up. They've already uh, taken the Montana away. Um, so I think we're just gonna sit here, chill out, 15 or 20 minutes and then uh, we should be good to go whilst they clear up the wreckage. Didn't look very nice. Not a nice feeling. Thanks Texas. We've been in Texas for three miles. What's going on? All right. I know we're trying to find all the little things that you haven't seen before, but we have to do some of the big things and today is one of those things. Actually, there's a couple of big things today, but uh, here we are. We are at the Big Texan, what's it called? Steak Ranch. Steak Ranch. And uh, so basically, if you can eat, if a single person can eat a 72 ounce steak with all the sides, you get it for free. Now, I think I could do this. We think it's a bad idea. Natalie thinks it's a bad we idea. We think you're gonna be buying a $200 steak. I don't know, I think we could do it. minutes. You see there's a massive chair out back in the gift shop. They have some very cool pictures here and they're holograms. So check this out. All right, we have a 30 minute wait. We're on the wait list. So we're just going to hang out and wait and then grab some food. Uh, there is a bunch of stuff here though. Uh, this place behind me, oh, you can't see it's too dark, but there's like an outdoor, it's a smoking area, but it's got a big chair that you can go on. There's bars in here. There's multiple bars actually, which is kind of cool. We're not drinking because we're riding. Um, but yeah, so I didn't know all of that stuff was there. There's little arcade games and there's a little shooting range there and everything. So I had no idea. I just thought it was a big restaurant. All right, so we didn't go for the uh, 72 ounce. Weirdly, weird that. I, I, don't, could, I could have done it. I don't Na think Natalie you would have ridden for the I could have done it easy. Day. Easy, easily, no problem at all. So me and John both went for the 12 ounce. Looks smaller than I thought actually. And you went for the eight? Yeah. Eight ounce, looks good. Let's try it, we'll let you know. But if you were to order the 72 ounce steak, you'd be set up here here somewhere. 
and uh, there is a bit of a stage up there and you get to eat in front of everyone so you accept the challenge and you have a 67 a 60 minute countdown to eat your steak now me and john just did a 21 ounce no what did we get the 12, the 12 ounce steak okay we had fries and bread and a salad and everything and i'm pretty stuffed we have to go and ride like for three hours now so we need to get out of it Obviously, we couldn't just skip past and not stop here at the Cadillac Ranch. All right, I'm not going to talk too long because I'm pretty sure you can't hear me because the wind is crazy. We're in the middle of a huge field here. But as you can see, everyone is here. You can buy spray paint on site. It's $6 per can and you can spray whatever you want. And some of this, the layers and layers of paint is unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> How you doing, John? Yeah, bro. Nice and, nice and warm on the tarmac. Yeah, just having a little break. Yeah, yeah, just a little lay down for we're a bit. Doing, we're doing our best armadillo impressions. Yeah, sunbathing. Sunbathing. We've seen a lot of dead armadillos here, but yeah. Where's that noise? Oh, there's a wind vane. Windmill over there. We're at the midpoint. We are right bang smack in the middle of Route 66. It's 1,139 miles that way to uh, Santa Monica and it's 1,139 miles that way to Chicago. Absolutely. I thought I heard a car coming. So did I. Right. <laughs> now we're not actually halfway through our trip because we're taking some detours over the next week or so. So you'll have to stick with us and take a look at those. But for now, we consider ourselves halfway through the trip. Okay, I'm hiding behind the cafe now for some, one for some shade and two because the wind is incredible here it has been hell to ride uh it's been really hard work from the cadillac ranch to the midpoint cafe uh the wind is just unbelievable i just wanted to explain that if you're doing this on bikes then you know it's hard work it's really hard work we have another hour to go before uh, we reach our final destination for today it's been a long day that wind is just crazy when you're riding you're constantly fighting the wind you constantly have to be on it there's no relaxing but the views were stunning it was fantastic right an hour to go before we get to our destination and it is a fantastic place we've been booked for months so uh give us a second we'll show you where we are or where we're going made it here we're at Tucumcari and we will reveal our special location it's the Blue Swallow Motel now this is booked up months in advance so we were very lucky to get this although not that lucky because we did book this in advance so yeah. we did our work guys we did our work um, the ride today was spectacular but the wind on bikes was horrendous it was hard work there's no it's not relaxing riding you have to you're constantly riding at an angle, there's gusts of wind, yeah. and going past trucks, the wind stops, so you have to prepare for that, and then once the truck goes, there's a bit of calm, and then suddenly the wind hits you again. Uh, that was hard work for everyone, I'm assuming you as well. <laughs> Holding on for dear life on the back. <laughs> yeah, and so you kind of want to go quicker because you just want to get out of it, but at the same time, like, the view was amazing. Like, yeah, I it was. It was like Red Dead Redemption, the video game. Yeah. No one's going to know that reference properly, but no, it was it, it, stunning, stunningly was, beautiful. Yeah, I, we can't explain it. We've got video clips which we'll overlay, but it's, uh, you, you just... You need to go. You need to be here. Yeah. Right. So. And that was Amarillo, Texas, actually, that had the best views as we were coming into New Mexico. Yeah. yeah but even the Albuquerque part was not the Albuquerque. 
the Oklahoma part was amazing. True. As well. True, we thought yeah. that was cool and then it got better when we got into Texas. I'm excited. It's and, getting uh, better and better each day. Yeah, but it's just bear, bear with, there's everything here. We actually spoke to we spoke to the owner, oh, I can't remember his name, I'm so sorry. I think it was Robert. He said that today is an especially windy day, but it is always windy here. Yes. Yeah. Um so yeah, we kind of didn't arrive at the at the right day. But anyway, the Blue Swallow Hotel, we're gonna cover this again next week. Uh, because there's some cool stuff about this and some cool history uh, and so we're going to go over that and I want to show you the garages and the room and it's things like cool. that. It won't be like a whole, we're not going to do a whole episode <laughs> on it or anything but there's some cool stuff here but we've just arrived, we've got our drinks, we've had showers, we're doing some laundry because they have laundry facilities here and so we're going to chill out and then tomorrow we head to, I have no idea. Oh gosh, I, I haven't looked that far ahead either. <laughs> but we we are we are excited because it's only about 100 miles tomorrow, and so far we've been doing about 250 to 300 miles. So yeah. hopefully tomorrow will be another day where we stick on Route 60, old historic Route 66, and we'll get back to that. We had to skip we had to skip a few bits today uh, just due to time. But anyway, we thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to put a video up here that we think you would like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon so you know when we upload more videos. And if you would like to come and Brazil and support a couple of tits hit the join button and thank you to everyone below for supporting us we really do appreciate it and we will see you next, next week, week.